Students, now let us refresh ourselves and look at different basic inventory cost. So there are several different costs associated with maintaining the inventory. Inventory like ordering cost, the purchase price, the storage cost, carrying cost, shortage cost, cost your transportation cost, in transit inventory cost, and the quality cost. Although some of the costs increase with higher inventory levels, others decrease. So there are different type of costs that actually increase with the higher level of inventory. And some, there are some others which would decrease with the level of inventory. For example, my shortage cost would decrease with the increase of inventory, but my carrying cost might increase with the increase of inventory. My transportation cost might increase with lower level of inventory or it might decrease with the higher level of inventory. So there is like you need to see the type of cost and what would be the effect of that cost on the inventory levels. Hence, there is a trade-off often needed to determine the optimum inventory level. What should be your stock, the stock level? Some of the costs of inventory actually depends upon the lead time to purchase items. What is this? Your lead time is actually very important in a whole supply chain and for your whole logistical activity. Let's say we are in a make to forecast MTF scenario. So in a forecast, I would have a very a relatively larger lead time. So with that larger lead time, what I can do, I can select a vendor primarily on a cost basis. Then I would be looking at the quality of that vendor i would be looking at the quality i would be looking at the consistency of that uh, that vendor and i would be looking at different secondary factors that would affect my decision of selecting that vendor but now if my vendor defaults by one two or three or even maybe by a week he is not able to provide me the supplies the raw material at the right time it might not affect my whole production it, it might have some tactical impact tactical impact in a sense that i have to uh, prioritize the production of that or i have to preempt it in preemption what would i do i would actually stop an order and give priority to the raw material of that which is actually now becoming late but i have a larger lead time with me so the longer lead time i have the more chances that my cost would be minimized so that is actually essentially the scenario for mtf type of products those products which are produced on basically which are produced on the basis of your forecast so lead time is the time between placing the order and the actual receipt of items you must remember that that lead time is when you place an order and the actual receipt of those items throughput would be different throughput would be when you start let's say in production what would be the throughput when you receive the raw material and it went through the process and you have finished it that would be the throughput of that item but the lead time is actually something which is like for let's say if i want to say the lead time for a purchase the time i place an order and i receive those items or those raw materials that would be the lead time so lead time is the time between placing an order and the actual receipt of items it consists of order preparation and transmitted time so you prepare the order you transmit it you you, you actually shipped it and time to manufacture or assemble the the item so in production my lead time would be the total time when i receive the raw material to the time when it is finished throughput is different throughput is when you not when you receive the raw material it is when you process that raw material into your production system so transportation time and receipt 
and inspection time are also included in your lead time. So lead time determines the minimum inventory to be maintained to prevent shortages. So lead time actually helps in having the minimum level of inventory with you. So what actually companies do, if you can, or enterprises do, they, they, they define the inventory policy. That inventory policy, let's say, defines some minimum level of inventory. And that minimum level of inventory is actually dependent upon the lead time. So if my lead time is, let's say, one week, so I would have the inventory that would satisfy majority of my demand, let's say 95% of my demand or 90% of my demand, which depends upon the service level, which that enterprise actually looks at. So if it is one week, so I should have one week inventory with me that would satisfy 95% of my, or there are chances that it would satisfy 95% or 90% of my uh, customer orders. And then if it touches that minimum level, I will be placing an order with my supplier, with my vendor, so that when that inventory is depleted, I would have the stock with me. That is the basic concept of lead time in inventory. And it actually helps in defining the inventory levels as well. Thank you.